He was Oscar nominated for his Hercule Poirot in the 1974 Murder on the Orient Express, but before that won another Golden Globe with a radical departure, the title role in the musical Scrooge. Albert Finney, Scrooge is your first singing role in films. What sort of voice do you have? You'll find out later, I suppose. No, I, uh, I don't know. I, in a sh I did a show, a musical, ten years ago at the Royal Court. And, and Lily White uh, Boy. Yeah, and I, was, I, I thought I discovered a not too unpleasant baritone. Or tenor, I don't know. I, th I think they said baritone at the time. Um, but as in this, of course, most of the uh, numbers are, oh, I mean, all my numbers are as the old man. And um, I want him, even when he's singing, to sort of have, obviously, a kind of, you know, the, the hair. he doesn't have much resonance in his voice and he doesn't have much uh, great quantities of breath. I want this, in other words, the singing still to be very much in character, except at the end of the film, when he's changed, when Scrooge is changed by his experiences then perhaps, you know, a little more resonance comes back in. Mm. But when you think of the um, musical at the present time, I mean, mm. it, it is by definition mm. uh, a big budget film, it has to be. Mm. Uh, and yet a lot of musicals have failed recently. Um, did you regard this as a hazard or not? No, I mean, uh, the, when uh, I got into it all rather quickly, and uh, but I was just ex extremely attracted by the thought of playing the character. I mean, when I read the script, I liked it very much, and the juices started to work inside, you know, and I, I hadn't read a script that had had that effect on me for some time, else I'd have done something else over the last year, presumably. After you did Luther on Broadway, you went off for ten months, just like that. And what were you doing? Contemplating your navel? Well, no. Uh, some of the time when I was on a beach, I did a bit of that, but um, uh, for eight years, I'd been in the profession, I'd been doing things constantly, I'd only had one vacation, and so I wandered about, you know, which was marvellous, and sort of nice to go to Mexico and for as long as you want, and then feel, well, I think I'll go to Hawaii tomorrow. I mean, that's very pleasant, and I kind of just wandered about like that for ten months. After a while, I got tired of doing that and wanted to come back, because I needed the neurosis, perhaps, of my work again, to be yes. made sick again, and <laughs> after I'd been made whole, I don't know. <coughs> You used to have a, a reputation for living out of suitcases, for mm. not uh, liking the idea of having possessions. Yeah. Um, you went from that kind of thing to owning a large house and mm. living rather like a, a lord of the manor, which you mm. almost immediately gave up again. Mm. Uh, what's, what's your attitude to possessions now? Well, still much the same. I mean, I've got more of them, obviously. But in, I th it was about three years ago, for the first time, I wanted a base. I've never wanted one before that, but three years ago I kind of did. I wanted a place which I could, whatever I'd done, I could crawl back into and lie down, and uh, that was mine, you know, in some way. And yet, you see, as the years go on, you, you acquire more possessions. And when I'm playing this part, I want more and more possessions, I tell you. <laughs> Scrooge was another hit for Finney, a second venture into musicals.